This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle With. Bruce Pritchard. Bruce, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm living in the past. How are you? Well, we're all living in the past today because that's what we do here on Something to Wrestle, and I'm so excited to be here with you. We're talking about Great American Bash 2005. 15 years ago in your way back machine. And, uh, I gotta tell you, wait, 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 wait. We're going to talk Conrad. Okay. You and I are going to talk. We started a conversation off air. I was telling you about shit. Yes. And then, then I said, you know, fuck it, man, let's just go. And then you said, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. And that's what he does to me, folks. He just, he just starts. Well, well hang on when, now. Hang because, on. Be, I, 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 because, you know, I've got limited time. <laughs> and, and when I say, okay, let's go, your motherfucking ass is ready to go. <laughs> yes. And so it's like, I say, let's go. And the next words out of his mouth is, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. <laughs> and so anyway. I'm just ready for that phone to go off at any minute. And you're like, I got to go rewrite something. I'll be right back. What are you ready for? I'm fine. But I'm ready for your phone to go off at any moment. And you say, I got to go rewrite something. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. But here's the thing is that like, anyway, we were talking yes, we're and right. I told you that I, I recently got Paul Bosch, his personal library in his office, in his home and, and a person. I, I just received that and it was shipped to my house. 8,500 pounds. Four of stuff. and a half tons or four and a quarter tons. My goodness. That's a lot of stuff, bro. Of stuff, of, of pictures, of statues, of last will and testaments. Of, How big's your goddamn house where you can just casually store over four tons of shit? Is that four tons? Well, yeah, it's 2000 pounds is a ton. So yeah, you've got like a diesel truck of Paul Bosch's shit. I got a lot of it, but, but going through it, I was, you know, and so we'll just continue because I think some of our listeners might be interested in this. Oh, I know they are, but I found a 19, a book from 1913 on Carl Gotch. I have, I've got, uh, Ring magazines from 1930s. And this shit's like in mint condition, damn near. I've got the original pictures that, that Paul took of the high chief, Peter Maivia, um, from the backside of all of his tattoos that adored, adorned his body. Um, it is absolutely just going through and seeing my handwriting on things mm. And knowing, you know, what, what certain things really were and then going, going through and finding, um, like pieces of, uh, Maui, I think I'm saying that the right way, uh, in Australia of, of green stone. I thought it was Jade, but then I found a whole book on this shit on this thing, um, and in the in, in the and like in the middle of the damn thing, you you come across a, a piece of ivory. Yes, ivory from the early forties and stuff, and the the thirties and forties, hand carved. Um, just incredible. It's it's absolutely um, insane, and I probably haven't even put a dent in a quarter of it. What are you gonna do with it all? <sighs> I don't know. And, and here's, here's like the cool thing, man. Paul, Paul was in world war two and he was an infantry man and he's got like all these purple hearts. I have all of his purple hearts, all of his awards in, in the military he was the most decorated professional wrestler of all time. Um, but I have his handwritten notes of battle battle plans each day, like his, I think he was a corporal uh, and he would, or a lieutenant, I don't know what the hell he was. He why, was in the, why board. did his family want to get rid of all that? I mean, I, I can see where there's maybe... no one left. Oh, there's no one left. His, his son, uh, Joey 
is uh, is blind, and uh, he, you know, there's. They wanted it to go somewhere where it would be appreciated, appreciated yeah. and, and not just you know it could have all it could have all gone into a dumpster. But I wanted to make sure that you know Joey, I, I dude, I've got his his cards. I think we go back to nineteen seventy seven, all the way through the last WWE show that we did him. The way that you know the booking books. And I've shown you these before, yeah. but I got the completed set now. But not only do you have the completed set, but if you were listening to our Houston episode, which is one of the sleeper episodes in our archives, you told the story that that's famously where Paul maybe, maybe not screwed Vince McMahon around a little bit. Oh man. Well, um, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got pretty much all the business documentation and all the real documentation for the last several years of, of the promotion, a lot that I knew about and, and found out some things I didn't know about. So it was, um, very, very, very interesting. And like I said, I'm not even, I'm not even a quarter of the way through it. And there are, uh, ring the ring boxing and wrestling magazines back in the old days they used to do the ring magazine and half of it was boxing and half of it was wrestling right so you had to fish to go in and, and find things like, that were of note but some of the books some of the uh, autographs from liberace um and, and uh, one of the there is are- an entire box that was nothing but uh personal letters from George H. Bush. Oh. The, the, I have China from George Bush's inauguration. And you got a lot of random stuff here. This is more than yeah. just wrestling. This is a guy's life. And yes. Yeah. Everything I, I I've got, I've got, uh, an inauguration flag with a handwritten note from George Bush in it. What, what do you think? Um, what's Stephanie think? By the way, I mean Stephanie Pritchard. What's Stephanie think of you saying, honey, um, be home Thursday. <laughs> I've got four tons of shit coming. We'll figure it out. Well, I didn't know that it was that. I didn't realize what it was. that it, it was that much shit. Because I just blindly said, yeah, man, I'll take it. And, um. And I imagine part of you agreeing to do this is just help a brother out and it's a payday yeah. and it's paying him. And I wanted, and I wanted to make sure that, that his son was taken care of, um, for the immediate future. Cause they've fallen on hard, hard times. And, and I said, you know what, look here, here we go. Um, but it, it, it has taken up my entire basement and my wife has like a path mm. through all the shit. And she just asked me right before I walked in here, uh, this evening, like what in the hell are you going to do with all this stuff? Cause as you unpack it, 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 it seems like it gets bigger the, yeah, of as you it unpack does. it. Of course it does. Well, I mean, like, I gotta, I mean, I guess I'm curious. The next step will be to involve the help of Ben Brown. Ben Brown actually helped unpack some of it. I just assume he would know Ben knows how to preserve things with the right people who can help you preserve things and just really sort through a collection. So I imagine, and we and you literally are talking about this for the first time, you're going to keep a lot of pieces for yourself, maybe donate some to some wrestling museums and whatnot, or what's the, maybe some will be used at future WWE events or what's the, what was that word you used a minute ago? The donut. Huh? Oh yeah. So no donating. I got you. I yeah. understand. I like donuts, All right. obviously. Well, in my head, you know, some of this, there's only so much Bosch stuff you could have. And I'm sure there are a few wrestling hall of fames that, or maybe you just save it off of the WWE one. That seems inevitable at some point. I mean, fans have wanted it for a long, long time. And maybe the timing isn't right. And certainly it's not right now, but maybe one day, or at least I'm hopeful. Knock on wood. You just want me to die. Don't you? No. What the fuck are you talking? 
What are you gonna? I mean, listen, in your living room. That's my just... takeaway. You know, sometimes you have conversations with people, and they ask, "What's your takeaway on that conversation?" That, that's my takeaway, Conrad. You want me to die? No, I want you to not die. So I'd like to get this Great American Bash done before. I got okay, and I also got I also got like a huge Texas flag, and big uh, U.S. flag that like you put in your office, like on each side, big flag poles with eagles and shit. That are going to go in my office as well. Oh, God that, bless Texas. Those got to be in the backdrop, like for when you're doing your Zoom calls. Right. That'd be great shit right there. Yeah. Dude, it sounds like it's, they moved this whole fucking house to you. His his office was uh, was built after the fact, and um, it was. Oh, you said a it was like two and a half car garage. Right? It was like untouched from the minute he passed until now. Remember, we talked about this a while back, but it was all like everything sort of in the same spot it was. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Have you, um, have you talked to Vince about this? What's, I mean, this has got to be something that he's at least a little interested in, right? Like that you just, why well, I, I showed him pictures of it before I bought it and, and just said, Hey, you know, look what I'm getting. And of course he wanted it all. And I said, <laughs> ha ha, I already got it. Yeah, um, I'm sure that that Hunter wants a lot of that stuff. He's a big wrestling historian too, and I gotta imagine that's up his alley too. Yeah, I think he would he would go absolutely nuts to to kind of go through some of this stuff. I am, and it's it's just so that the bad thing is having me involved in the unpacking because I stop and I just go through things and start reading things. Yeah, well, you know what? Take your time. It's not like you're on a timetable. I, I want it all done by the end of the night. Okay. Well, we better get going then. Okay. Congratulations, by the way, on your haul. This is uh, it's a big moment for you. And, you know, we've talked a little bit. Go listen to the Houston wrestling episode, everybody. It was, uh, it was a great episode. It was a sleeper episode. It was one Bruce wanted to do for a long time. In that era, we put everything on poles, and it never won. And then we just we made it happen. And, man, it was critically acclaimed. Go out of your way to check it out. Bruce was passionate about it. And when he is loving something, you know, it's going to be good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.